aim of this YouTube is to provide you with some guidelines on data extraction and analysis of your precision agriculture trials. Firstly, you'll need some form of precision agriculture or GIS software to display and interrogate your yield data captured by the harvester. Most modern grain harvesters now come equipped as standard with yield mapping tools utilising their onboard GPS. As part of this equipment, you will be provided with some software which enables you to unzip the data cards and extract the data. You should then be able to view your data on a paddock by paddock basis and interrogate individual trial results. The Agronomy Jigsaw Project has chosen to work with raw data points direct from the harvester. The reason for this is if you interpolate this data into a continuous smooth surface, irregularities in harvest speed or direction of travel can easily be smoothed over and start to affect trial results. The first step in reading data into the computer is that it needs to be cleaned within the biological limits of your crop or the season. In Western Australia dryland agriculture, we generally top and tail cereal yields between 200 kilos per hectare and around 6 to 7,000 kilograms per hectare. By doing this, you remove a lot of turnaround points as well as areas where you may have passed over twice and re-recorded a zero yield. The first layer you need to load into your GIS or PA software is the layer in which you defined your crop zones. In this case, we've used an electromagnetic soil survey map. We then place the trial outline onto this EM soil map and we can see clearly that it passes into two main EM zones. The high EM zone in the dark blue, highlighted in the trial region by the red polygon, and the lower EM zone in the sand or orange colour, highlighted by the green polygon. These are the two main production areas we're interested in comparing in the trial, as well as looking at the overall effect of what different trial treatments were. Next, we need to bring in the yield data. Straight away we can start to see a few irregularities in this yield data. In the centre of the red section, you'll notice a turnaround, where while harvesting, they have turned on over several run lines and have double recorded yield for that specific area. As a rule of thumb, you would avoid extracting data from anywhere near this. Also, in the high EM area, you can start to see where the data dot points are very close together. This indicates irregularities in speed, and this slowing down and speeding up of the harvester will cause distortion in the yield data recorded. Also avoid the extraction of data in these areas. Turnaround points also cause irregularities in data recording. As a rule of thumb, we try not to extract data within 30 metres of the turnaround, as on re-entry to the crop, quite often there is an increase followed by decrease of yield until the machine levels out into the normal harvesting process. Also, in this case, the trial strips don't extend all the way up the paddock. They stop around halfway. As another rule of thumb, we try not to extract data within about 20 metres of the end of the trial. The reason we do this is because during the trial application, the machinery may not have been precise in where it stopped and started the application rate. We can, however, be confident of side-by-side -side application runs because this is not controlled by the variable rate application. Ideally, we're looking for header runs that fall clearly within a treatment zone. This trial here has been very well set out in terms of it being parallel with the seeding and harvester runs. It can be seen clearly that there are two header runs per trial rate available for data extraction. In the next YouTube, we'll look at how you can snip that data out and use it to compare for trial results.